Realizing your own mortality, for me, just feels like a very powerful way to understand what really matters in life. Steve Jobs said it, Gary Vaynerchuk said it a lot. Really realizing that you are going to die someday, I think really helped me, it really, really helped me. And I just can't understand why some people will settle into a life they absolutely hate, with a job they absolutely hate, doing some things they absolutely hate, and then die. It just feels like you never actually got to live. When I think about people that are doing jobs they absolutely hate and they've done them for a long period of time, they're getting nothing from those jobs, they're just doing it to pay the bills, whatever. It just, it's absolute insanity to me. The thought of existing to exist, that's exactly what it is. Like you're existing just to exist. You might as well not exist. Just keeping it facts. What's your purpose then? To produce a life, to have babies? Like, you know, and then hope that your babies get to live because you didn't? Ne that's never made sense to me why people would want, you know, we've all got this period of, you know, for let's say 50 years. I just want it to be everything. I want it to be terrifying. I want it to be fun. I want to see everything and do everything and have every experience because after that, we're all going to the same pole in the ground. All of us. But some people want to use their 50 years sat in a, in a call centre um, doing something they hate with someone they hate sat next to them and all the stress of it. I'm just thinking you've got nothing to lose. We're fortunate in this country where if we roll the dice and we go to the bottom, there is a support system. You know, you, the government will look after you. So people in this country and parts of the world where we have that support system, in your case, you're absolutely crazy. Being the most connected generation in the history of mankind has its upsides, but it also comes with real invisible problems. And we've grown up aspiring to be our idols. And that's dangerous. I mean, aspiring to achieve great things is fine, but aspiring to be our idols is dangerous. It's dangerous to want to be someone you're not. It's also not possible, but it's dangerous. And social media has glamorized the lives of a few and we get to see their nice cars and their holidays and their wonderful lifestyle and we want that. But we don't see the years and years of hustle, the pain, the sacrifice, the natural talent they had, the innate passion for their craft, the incredible details Steve Jobs saw the world in, or the unbelievable hardship that Richard Branson went through to get there. We don't see that. We just see the destination and we want that. But most of us, don't have and aren't willing to give what it takes to fulfill that journey because it's not our journey, it's theirs. You're not passionate about typography or art or design, but you want to be Steve Jobs. You're not Steve Jobs, you're you. We are the generation that has confused admiration with aspiration and we'll never find our own happiness until we accept that we can't have anyone else's life but our own. And if we realize this and focus on our own, then our life will be more than enough. You know, young men want to be Mark Zuckerberg because they admire him. But the crazy irony is we admire him because his life was unlike others. He didn't try to be like others. So if you want to be Mark Zuckerberg, it's time to stop trying to be Mark Zuckerberg because you'll never achieve your personal greatness. Our idols did not follow in the footsteps of their heroes. There was no Bill Gates for Bill Gates to emulate. He had to carve out his own path to find his own greatness. Each of our idols have uniqueness as their power. They have the conviction to disagree, the confidence to persevere, and the braveness to go against the status quo instead of embracing it. You know, we celebrate their individuality and their lack of conformity, and the audacity of their strong, strong beliefs that black was equal to white, or their vision for a pocket computer, or a, or a more connected world, or a driverless car, or a personal spaceship that could go to Mars. These ideas could only come from people who did not follow in the footsteps of others. So my advice to my generation is don't aspire to be your hero. Stop trying to mimic what you see them doing. Strive to be yourself. Visionaries are not to be imitated. They are to be admired. Trying to be someone else is a surefire way of becoming nobody at all. The only great person you can become is the greatest version of yourself because all the other great people are already taken. And the funny thing is, once you become the greatest version of yourself, people will see your life and they'll make the mistake of trying to be you too.